and it is really rainy and not so pretty outside, but we're headed to the hotel. Did I say I'm here for BeautyCon? I'm not really sure, but that's what's happening tomorrow, and I'm so excited. I wish it wasn't raining all weekend, but apparently that's what's gonna be happening. I guess that's it. I feel kind of gross. So, this is the gorgeous rainy view. I need to get ready, become presentable again. I need to do everything at like lightning speed because I'm trying to go to this party and then we need to go out to dinner and I also need to like go to bed kind of early because I have to be up really early. Ugh. and we were gonna go to this style hall party tonight and then it just kind of got too late. We're supposed to have dinner with my sister tonight and then she wasn't answering the phone, which she kind of never answers right whenever I call her, but I'm starving right now. So we're just thinking about just going to dinner and I actually forgot the top that I was gonna wear tonight, which makes me so sad. Um, I got a new top and a new skirt I actually got a lot. I, I did some damage. I got many new things, including these boots, which I'm super obsessed with. Sorry, the lighting is um pretty much miserable in this room. Um, dun dun, boots of life. Okay, they're not my boots of life. You already know what my boots of life are, but these are like boots of life junior. I really, really like them and I'm planning on wearing them tomorrow and I really hope they don't like kill my feet. My eyelashes are Crazy. Oh, it's Saturday, it's beauty con day, and I'm ready, and I'm kinda late, and um, I'm just trying to make it happen. I'm actually going back to the room because I forgot something. <sighs> Story of my life. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We're gonna sneak you in.
tired and my face is so tired and I'm still smiling but I don't know how. Ah. And Mary has helped me so much today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Sister Mau Man. What did you think of Beauty Con? It was fun but hot. It was real warm in there. And we actually went to IMAX way back in the day. How many years ago was that? Oh God, like, it was a, it was a, we went to New York IMAX. Four spring. years. It was a really long time ago, back when YouTubers went to IMAX and we just hijacked it. <laughs> oh, my, my channel was really small, but it, I mean, it was fun. It's a completely different thing, but like, it's cool that like, she got to come to vote. It was fun. I liked it. Apparently it was like 6,000 people that came, something like that. I'm pretty sure we decided like the highlight of the day was the dog. Jeff. I took a picture with him and it didn't turn out very good because like the lighting was weird and then my hair was in my face. I'm a mess. I'll never get another picture with a dog with 3 million <laughs> followers on Instagram. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> we were just like watching him forever. It was like he was performing. He could have put out a hat and gotten tips. I wonder what panel he was on. It was so cute. My feet are gonna fall off. Just saying. Now we're hoofing it back home. Hoofing. Hoofing it. Cowgirl seahorse. I think this is my aesthetic. Give it to me. It got me a burger. All right, so super quick change. Ate a burger, ate a bunch of fries, feeling good. Had a little bit of Red Bull. Um, switched my outfit. I went with the same top, but I got the skirt. I, you probably can't see it at all. But now we are like racing over to go see, oh, hello. It's John Mulaney and- Nick Kroll. Nick Kroll. Wow. <coughs> yeah. But yeah, oh, hello is like a, it's a comedy thing. If you don't know who John Mulaney is, oh, look him up. He's like one of my favorite comedians. He's absolutely hilarious. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I don't even know what it's going to be, so. We'll see. drinks and then afterward we went to the comedy cellar and there was a surprise because we happened to see Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Aziz Ansari, and John Mayer all on the same stage and it was insane and they have a pretty strict rule about like not recording anything and so I've got nothing to show you but it was amazing. And this is very shaky, I'm sorry. Ping pong. Okay, so while I pack up, because I gotta get ready to leave, uh, I'm gonna tell you about last night. Last night was crazy. Um, I did make a clip in the car on the way back uh, to the hotel, but it's likely I won't use it. I was very, very tired. Um, <laughs> We didn't leave until like 3.30. We went to Oh Hello, and then we went to a bar, and then we went to the Comedy Cellar at, for like the midnight show. And it was supposed to be just like a bunch of like random comedians or whatever, and it ended up being Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Aziz Ansari, and John Mayer all on the same stage. They're like super, oh, this is weird. That's weird, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. Why? Like out of nowhere, complete surprise. And we were, front row doesn't even really like explain it. Like our table was, the, and the stage was right here. Like we had some like chips and salsa on our table. Dave Chappelle was eating chips off of our table. What? Lucky doesn't describe it. Like, how did that happen? Like, they were literally saying, like, no one's going to believe you that this happened. Like, that amazing. And they're, like, super, super strict about, like, you know, you can't, like, have cameras. You can't take pictures and stuff like that. And uh, so I have nothing to show you. But it was insane. Like, it, when it was Dave Chappelle, he came up first. I was just like, oh. Like, you know, 
my life was made and I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. And then it just started going like up and up and up. Well, we were at, uh, when we were at the bar before we went over there, Aziz and sorry was there. I don't know. My mind is blown. There are no words to describe like how amazing that was for me. Like obviously. So yeah, it was a massive success. An amazing time was had by all. I completely forgot to even like mention Oh Hello was hysterical. If you have a chance to go see it and you love Nicole and uh, John Mulaney, you will love it. It was so funny. And so like I would see it again today if that was possible. It was that good. It was just, I don't know. Yesterday was just like an amazing day on all levels. I got my fox socks on and my new shoes. <laughs> Got like the salad. Typical me. <sighs> I just got home and it's only like 8.30 or something. But it feels so late. I realized that I almost stayed up for like 24 hours yesterday. Ooh, why am I trying to vlog and lug my big suitcase up the stairs at the same time? This seems like a lot. I did get a little sleep on the plane, which was good. I also got some editing done, which is also good. <sighs> also, very exciting thing. I came home to see that my glasses arrived. I finally, finally, finally ordered my uh, grapefruit sodas. They've been sitting out on my porch for I don't know how long. Get out of here, come on. Get me my glasses, you box. Ta-da! I have my contacts in right now, so I'm not really gonna be able to see. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have like barely talked to you guys today, but it's just been a day of traveling and kind of feeling a little bit gross and like just super, super tired. Um, but generally like we just like kept talking about last night and like how crazy and amazing it was. Like Dave Chappelle was like all over the place. It was a little bit like it was a little bit of a train wreck. I mean, they were definitely really funny. We were there until like 3.30. And at a certain point, um, Aziz Ansari and Chris Rock were just like, all right, we're done. And they just like left the stage. And it was just uh, Dave Chappelle and John Mayer. And John Mayer like got a guitar up there and he was like just playing whatever Dave Chappelle wanted. And he, and he was singing a lot. And it was just like a little bit of a mess. It was funny, but it was messy. And it went on for a long time, but it was just like, it was just too like, what is happening? It was like unreal. I'm exhausted. I miss Luna so much. I wish I could pick her up right now, but I have to wait until the morning. So I have to sleep without her, which is always really sad and kind of scary. I know that's really weird. I know that Luna is gonna like in no way protect me from literally anything, but like, I just, I'm used to it and I'm spoiled so I miss her I cannot wait to pick her up I miss her so much it was so funny like at BeautyCon oh wow I haven't like fully talked like yesterday was such an insane day I was like running the entire day I didn't even have time to like do anything and right after BeautyCon we came back I ate that burger in the room changed clothes and then went out again so it was like I haven't even had time to like talk to you about like what BeautyCon was like. BeautyCon was awesome. Um, I was supposed to do a panel, but then they like, okay, originally I agreed to do a panel and then they switched the topic on me like at the last minute and it didn't make sense. Like they wanted me to do a panel. Um, I, you know what, I'm not even gonna get into it, but the panel that they told me that they wanted me to do, it just did not make sense for me at all. So I was like, I'm gonna feel really dumb. I don't, I don't fit in this. But I got to do a bunch of stuff with QVC, so that was really fun, and meeting all of those people was, it was awesome. I, and I talked to uh, one of the hosts, I was like, what is it like to do your job? And she just like loved it, and I was like, man, that would be kind of a fun job, don't you think? Meeting a bunch of subscribers was awesome. I feel like I, you know, I wish that I could have done a meet and greet. I wanted that. I like that's the whole point for me, but like 
And when I agreed to like go, it was kind of like, it was said that I would get to do a meet and greet at whatever beauty con that I went to, and then that didn't happen. So I was a little bit of a disappointment. Actually, it was a huge disappointment for me, but apparently just the way it worked out, didn't get to do one. But I did get to meet a lot of people, which was awesome. I, I love meeting you guys. Like that's the whole point for me to go to these things is to meet you guys. It's like every time I get to meet a subscriber or a viewer, it's like we're like instant friends. It's crazy. I just, I love it. And so many people ask me about Luna. They're like, oh, I wish you could bring Luna. Like me too. I totally wish I could bring Luna like everywhere. The Luna love tour totally needs to happen. Anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling. My arm is getting tired. My voice sounds really, really, really tired. And anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thank you to any of you guys that I got to meet at BeautyCon. Definitely subscribe if you want to keep up with my weekend vlog. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Oh, surprise, surprise. Today was a very bad hair day for me. Like, it, I mean, I guess my hair looked fine earlier, but it did not want to create the look I was trying to do. And I'm so frustrated. And I think I'm probably gonna have to like completely refilm the video, which I hate.